Hello, I'm Russell, welcome to The Trues. As a normal man from Essex, do you know who I trust? That's The Sun newspaper. The Sun really represents me. So when I want an, a bit of analysis of leaders, I turn to The Sun. For some reason they don't mention David Cameron, I wonder why that is. Let's have a look at the sun's window into truth. It's kind of an oracle. The current Deputy Prime Minister is the son of banker Nicholas Clegg and Dutch mother Hermans van de Waal Bank. No, 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 never mind that, you know, he said that there would be no tuition fees and then there were as soon as he got into alliance with the bloody Conservative Party. His mum's got a bit of a funny name. You want a funny name? How about this? Uh, the Saxer Goethe Coburg family or the Windsors, the royal family that the sun can't nosh off enough. Which is her actual name, not a Led Zeppelin song said with an accent. Oh, racism is quite funny. He learned to speak five languages during his time at a top Westminster private school. Last time we heard that bloke's voice was when he was doing that weird day in the life of David Cameron. This is a day in the life of Cameron. Which was like a piece of theatre of the absurd, some ludicrous contrivance where David Cameron was using his letter waxer stampatron and all that kind of Dash. At Cambridge, he was a member of the university's Tory association, though Cleggy claims he can't remember it. Well, let's think of some of the things that the sun sometimes has memory relapses on. Andy Coulson used to work for the sun before becoming editor of the News of the World. Remember that? He resigned on the same day as his colleague who was convicted of phone hacking. Do you remember that? A month later, Coulson became the Conservatives communication director on a salary of 475 grand a year and got the sun to support the Tories in the 2010 elections. The sun and Cameron same thing. He graduated with a 2-1 in social anthropology, which incredibly is not a made-up subject. No, because social anthropology is how human beings have formed communities. That's not a made-up subject, but it is something that the Sun, on a daily basis, tries to destroy. Clegg is also the only party leader to have ever admitted publicly how many women he's slept with. No more than 30 if you're interested. What are they trying to say to us? They're a continuation of Thatcher's project to annihilate society. When Rupert Murdoch and Margaret Thatcher got together and decided to carve up not only the resources of the country, but the consciousness and the spirit of the people that lived here, Thatcher Fortunately, circumstances took care of, but the sun roars on, trying to destroy the fabric of this country. The Greens leader was born in Australia. It's interesting that the first thing it does in every case is sort of attacks people on the basis of national identity, but the sun's identity is not British. It's an Australian bloke who's now an American citizen who has his companies registered in 150 tax haven nations. So what right have they got to talk about anyone's patriotism or where they come from? It says she first became political aged five when being banned from riding a bike because it wasn't ladylike kickstarted a passion for Feminism. He said feminism and then I had a vulture. Ah! Feminism. Feminism, that's not relevant. She's also the only MP running for Prime Minister that knows how to wear a bra. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? We think. Oh right, like uh, some of the others may be uh, transvestites. Oh no, that's a group of people the sun is still allowed to explicitly bully and victimise, so, you know, take those opportunities. She's full of sensible, realistic goals, like calling for a living wage of which no one should be paid more than ten times its equivalent. This is the sun epitomised. Is that as a policy that would benefit sun readers more than any other media demographic, and the sun tells you that it's ridiculous and implausible. Because the sun is about forcing ordinary people down primarily through the perpetuation of ignorance, prejudice, misogyny with... I mean, it's just sort of limitless. And the reason this kind of stuff can happen is because this is where the marriage between big business and politics occurs in the church of the sun, the cathedral of treachery that is that newspaper. Here's some information. Rupert Murdoch's got billions in offshore profits not subject to UK or US taxes. News Corp has spent millions lobbying for tax legislation. That means they decide what the tax laws that they benefit from are. Murdoch's media outlets consistently support fracking and military action in the Middle East while they deny climate change. He is part owner of Genie Energy, which has interest in shale gas oil in Syria. Fracking. That's why they want to particularly attack the Greens, because they're a party that has policies that directly oppose the interests of its owner. But don't fear. Bennett has said she wants current government cuts to end and be replaced with huge spending on public transport, renewable energy and Good ideas! And plans on paying for them with, um, by, yeah, uh, well it's, the thing is, it's, um, well, uh, <coughs> excuse me.
excuse me, I've got a dreadful cough. Uh, yeah, the reason you've got a dreadful cough, mate, is because of climate change and pollution. Stuff that you're not going to do anything about because you're too fucking stupid. Edward Samuel Miliband is the atheist son of two Jewish immigrants. Oh, Jesus, he's wading in now. Who fled the horrors of Nazism during the Second World War. Oh my God, there's swastikas in it. That's a cheery start. What are you having a go at that for? Oh, they're a bit glum. The state-educated Labour leader admits he was not cool at school, a statement of cataclysmic shock and horror, giving his alluringly underrated red-hot talent of being able to solve a Rubik's Cube one-handed in 90 seconds. It's all right, it's just a person, it's nice that he could do a bloody Rubik's Cube. I mean, like, isn't it more interesting that Cameron, someone who's somehow absent from this, let's call it what it is, evil propaganda. Used to live near Rebecca Brooks, who for ages run that set up. Cameron had been friends with her and her partner from their Eton days. They're among a group of powerful PR and media guru folk who hung out together. Elizabeth Murdoch, Matthew Freud, Jeremy Clarkson. In 2008, Cameron was bought flights to Greece by Murdoch's son-in-law and had drinks on a yacht with Rupert Murdoch in Greece. Rebecca Brooks's wedding reception was held at Jeremy Clarkson's house with guests David Cameron, George Osborne, Rupert Murdoch, James Murdoch and Elizabeth Murdoch. I mean, what it really is, is the worst kind of cronyism. So, like, these people that make this cartoon, I'm not suggesting they're evil people, but they're just trying to do right by their boss, Rupert Murdoch. And Rupert Murdoch wants his boy in government and will sort of use any language. But the, the, for me, the problem of the sun transcends politics. Politics is going to change. It's changing. But this mentality, this kind of disempowerment, this anti-intellectualism, this anti-Semitism, frankly, that this is the kind of thing that corrodes the soul of people. And to use patriotism as the tool, so dishonest, so disingenuous, this rootless, nationless, filthy rag, attacking and undermining good people, preventing people coming together, preventing people doing what's good for them and right for them to pursue the ends of a trillionaire, arachnoid psychopath. Have no fear though, viewers. Rebel Heart couldn't be contained once he broke free at university. Having a dispute over rent was his best four weeks at uni, apparently. Hey, calm down there, Wolfie. Yeah, well, look, Jesus Christ. I mean, like, I don't want to get all, like, since I've met Ed Miliband, like, oh, Ed Miliband, isn't he great? But I mean, like, that does seem to indicate he's a person that cares about stuff. Now, my long-held view has been that the political establishment somewhat nullifies the instincts to help people and come together. But ridiculing somebody because lower rent? Do you read the sun? Would you like lower rent? Do you see a connection? Both he and older brother David rose through the Labour ranks, becoming the first siblings to sit in cabinet together since 1938. But their family tie was damaged irreparably when Ed stabbed high-flying David in the back by running against him for the Labour leadership in 2010. I just was pursuing his ambitions to, I mean, Jesus Christ, I mean, like, you know, if you want to talk about sort of taboo, who runs the company when you're busy, Rupert? Oh, it's this guy, James. What's his surname? Murdoch. What a coincidence. His celebrity look like is Wallace, and he has never knowingly worn a suit properly. Where are you going with this oh, senseless, mindless futility? No wonder people feel apathetic and despairing when one of the primary sources of intellectual, social, cultural nutrition is this poisonous, filthy thing. We need to get the Tories out of government and then get this paper and Murdoch out of our country. True news, subscribe here. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.